Unresolved problem segment tonight evaluating the terror threats. Obvious conservatives want the threat confronted in a strong way, but some on the left see it differently. ISIS is no more Islamic than uh, the uh, Nazi uh, senior staff was Christian. Uh, and, and so we've got to differentiate between those. I am more fearful of uh, large gatherings of young white men that come into schools, theaters, and shoot people up, but we don't isolate young white men on this issue. I don't think there have ever been large numbers of white men shooting up a theater that I can remember. It's usually one or two. Joining us now from Washington, Charles Krauthammer, who tonight is singing with Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga, and that's why he is dressed up in the tux. No, do no, you no, you got it wrong, oh, David. I do. Because after five years on your show, I thought I should class it up a little bit. <laughs> Somebody has to. Now, do you understand this diminishing of the Muslim threat thing? I, I, don't, I never have understood this, and I think most of the folks don't understand it as well. What, what is this all about? Well, look, there's the benign explanation, particularly when you apply it to the president and to Hillary Clinton. And then there's a not-so-benign one. The benign one uh, is that they don't want to antagonize Muslims by using the word Islam. I think it's idiotic. I mean, there's no reason. If you say radical Islam, remember in the, the democratic debates, they were all asked, do you, you know, is this radical Islam? And they all said, we're not at war with Islam. We're not at war with all Muslims, when that's not the question. This is obviously a strain of Islam, at war with the West, and we ought to recognize that. But let's say the most benign explanation, not a credible one, but benign, is I don't want the Muslims in the world to think that we're anti-Islamic. The, the, the explanation that I think is a lot more troubling is that in some way they think that we in the West, the people who avoid use of Islam, ha that we had it coming. Remember what Kerry said just last week. He said, you know, uh, I don't really understand the shooting in Paris, but you know, you can get your arms around, you can understand the legitimacy or the rationale of the shooting up of Charlie Hebdo. Meaning, if you draw a cartoon that some uh, Muslims are offended by, you know, the rationale, the legitimacy is you go out and you shoot everybody and you kill them in the room. This is, this I think is stems from what Gene Kirkpatrick called in 1984, the blame America first Democrats. And we saw that in the Benghazi attack when they wanted to blame the video on inciting the riots and all of that. And I do believe that, that it is a uh, strain of anti-Americanism from the Noam Chomsky school, the far, far left school, that hey, now it's our turn. It's the chickens come home from roost, Reverend Wright school. Um, and that's an interesting point. But you know, President Obama, he's now, instead of just looking weak on ISIS, he's now blaming the press. Roll the tape. One of the things that has to happen is, is how we report on this uh, has to uh, maintain perspective uh, and uh, not you know, empower in any way uh, these terrorist organizations. Uh, or uh, elevate them uh, in, in ways that uh, make it easier for them to recruit or make them stronger. And so therefore we should just play down these stories. I mean, really, come on. Ay, what do you say? He, he's at the bottom of the barrel. I mean, he's so, he is so exposed. He's so naked on the world stage. His strategy is so recognized everywhere, left and right, Democrat, Republican, as a bankrupt one. He is seen as so weak, so inviting, this kind of attack on the West, that what's he got left to say? To pretend we're winning the war? Of course we're not. Even uh, Leon Panetta, his own Secretary of Defense, is saying not. Even Dianne Feinstein, the leading Democrat on the House, uh, on, the, on the Senate Intelligence Committee, they all know, everybody knows. So what's he got to say? All he can say is the press is uh, playing it up too much, as if you can play up too much, the murder of 130 innocent people in six different venues in the heart of a European the capital, as if you can explain away uh, by blaming the press attacks all over the world, in Mali, in Beirut, in Paris. Look at the panic. Brussels is now yeah. shut down. I know. Just we'll by see. the threat. What can he say? He's been in charge we for can't seven overdo, years. We can't overdo the reportage, Charles. You know, we're empowering ISIS if we do that. All right, Charles, have fun wherever you're going.
give everybody my best. Plenty more ahead as a factor moves along this evening. New poll says Americans ages 18 to 34 want to restrict freedom of speech. Kind of shocking. And later, what is world takes on Thanksgiving? What country were the pilgrims from? South America? I don't know. We hope you stay tuned for those reports.